Big numbers coming up now because you may remember we told you about the hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold found in a field in Staffordshire. Well, now the people who found it have been told how much they'll get for their discovery. The hoard has been valued at more than three million pounds. The money will be divided between the man who found the treasure and the farmer who owns the field. He said today he was trying to stay level-headed about the whole experience. I don't know whether excitement's the right word. I mean, uh, it, it, it has been a wonderful experience meeting the archaeologists and the old Latin for one, you know, somebody I, I would never have met otherwise. You know, I, I've looked at it like that. It's, it's been a really good experience. Fred Johnson, a rather rich man now. Let's have a look at the weather now with Laura Tobin. Hello. If only all that money could buy us some nice weather, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, it's not. Yet again outside, it is very windy. Not as windy as yesterday, but the wind yet again packing in some pretty blustery showers, especially across western areas of the UK. Now, this is the radar from early. We had some heavy showers across the southeast, some through Wales and the southwest of England, northern England too, but it's across Scotland we're going to focus our attention here. You can see the greens and yellows represent We've had some very heavy showers around, a warning from the Met Office for up to an inch of rain thanks to those heavy showers through this afternoon. Even a little bit wintry across higher ground, but thanks to the winds with some shelter across the eastern areas, it should be largely dry and sunny. Yes, we will pick up one or two showers towards Cumbria, but quite gusty winds should blow them through rather swiftly. Through Lincolnshire and East Anglia, bright and breezy this afternoon, 9 degrees, our top temperature in Ipswich. Still a lot of showers piling in along southern coastal counties of England, exposed to that wind, and within those showers and around the coast, gusts of wind up to 50 miles an hour. Showers feeding right through the Bristol Channel, making their way in towards Gloucestershire through the afternoon. Further heavy showers too, piling their way into West Wales. Eastern areas of Northern Ireland also staying largely sheltered, but we will see further showers making their way into Fermanagh. Now, through this evening, the showers will continue to pile in along western coasts and hills, but it's this feature we're really keeping our eye on, affecting southern coastal counties of England down towards the southeast. Some very heavy downpours, some very strong winds, gusts of 60, perhaps 70 miles an hour. Temperatures by night, two or three degrees in the north, so a touch of frost leading to quite a chilly start for tomorrow. Tomorrow, generally not too dissimilar to today. The winds stay westerly, and that means western coast and hills yet again picking up some pretty frequent showers. Perhaps not as heavy as today's showers, and yet again with some shelter eastern areas, we'll see the best of the sunshine. Now, tomorrow evening, we turn our attention to the southwest of England. Here we see more rain arriving, affecting southern areas throughout the weekend. Now, it's attached to this area of low pressure, sweeping its way into the south as we head through Saturday. The wind direction, though, will change through the weekend, coming from a northwesterly direction. So this week, it's been really relatively mild southwesterly winds, bringing blustery showers right the way across the UK. This weekend, though, once that low moves in, the weather will change. The winds ease turn northwesterly and it turns quite a lot colder. So gone are the mild weather we've seen over the last few days. This weekend turning pretty chilly with a widespread frost returning as we head overnight. So some sunshine around but it turns quite a bit colder. Laura, thank you very much. At half past one, a reminder of our top story. The Iraq inquiry has told Britain and America were scrabbling around for the smoking gun to prove Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Still to come on the BBC News Channel this afternoon, more on the report that's about to be made public into child sex abuse by Catholic priests in Dublin, including a live news conference which is due at about quarter past two. But that's all from the News at One this lunchtime, so it's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we now join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye.